we're talking about cyber dating in the 21st century, and we're particularly talking about internet dating. Now, one of the key things that one must understand, there are advantages and disadvantages to the internet scene. Number one, people don't really get to smell you, see you per se, feel you, understand your humor. You're gonna have to use words and particular visuals to get the other one's attraction. So before going on cyber dating, before setting up for any of these particularly match type sites, you need to be prepared. You need to have a catchy logo, a catchy name, a good biography about you, and I still recommend telling the truth because the truth eventually will come through. And most importantly, a good photo. This needs to be done professionally, and I recommend more than one photo. We are visual as human beings, and as a physician, I've studied that. The first thing is going to be the last thing if you don't have a picture. So without a photo or photos or even a little movie today about yourself, the key thing is to get your visual out there in cyberspace appropriately and professionally so that you can join the cyber dating scene and become a professional bachelor in cyberspace. When it comes to photos on the internet, you must be very careful. Everything that goes in cyberspace will be recorded forever. So I do not recommend any risque photos. I recommend professional photos. I don't recommend necessarily portrait photos. I recommend photos that are done with style. You in action. If you're a volleyball player, holding the volleyball. If you're a drummer, playing the drums. And a full photo shot of you, not just your face, and a recent photo. So this way, you look as the way you look. And again, as a professional bachelor, you need to look your best. So have your photos, have at least three photos up online, be it in, in different types of modes, both sitting, standing, and in an active mode. And the more photos, the more visuals, and the more attraction from the opposite sex will occur.